Hey, what's up, Musers? This is John at muse for you here to help you build awesome websites without code. And for quick tip number seven, I've decided to talk about formatting text across breakpoints in Adobe Muse. Um, so I have an example site here, and here I have uh, quick tip number seven: formatting text across breakpoints. And if I resize the browser, we can see that the text gets smaller as I resize the browser. And I can also go to design.google.com uh, slash resizer uh, to see the text on different devices. And if I click here, uh, we can see the text on the different breakpoints here. Okay, and I have the text getting smaller um, as the breakpoints get smaller. Um, so here, if I go into Adobe Muse, here's what the website looks like. I have the breakpoints here and the text. Um, so here, I'll go to File, New Site, and I'll click OK, and I'll double click on the home page. Um, then I'll create a text box, so I'll click on the text option here, or the te text box option, and I'll type in uh, quick tip number seven, uh, formatting text across breakpoints, just like that. And then I'll make it, the size, I'll make it 36, uh, and I'll change the text to Lotto and I'll center the text here. Uh, now for this example, I'm gonna make the text white because uh, the first thing I want to demonstrate is the the text box. So the text box works like a rectangle um, and you can make it responsive or you know set the responsive to none uh, so it stays fixed as you resize the browser. Um, so I'm gonna make the text white and I'm gonna fill the text box with black uh, just so we can see how the text box works as I resize the browser. Uh, so essentially what the text is going to do, because the text box here, if we go to resize, it's set, it's set to responsive width, the text box will change with the browser width and the text will fit within the text box. So I'll preview in the browser and as I resize the browser, we can see the text box is getting smaller and the text is fitting within the text box. Um, if I make the text box uh, larger, if I stretch it to the browser width, um, the text will change within that text box. So essentially, once the text reaches the, the size of the browser, it'll start resizing, or the text will start moving within the text box there. Um, so there we can see the text has more room uh, to, to move in um, within the text box. And if we set, uh, let's say we set the, uh, the text box a little bit smaller, and we go to resize and we say none, and I go to a preview page in browser, the text will not change as I resize the browser. Uh, so that's the first thing I wanted to demonstrate is the text box. Um, it does work like a rectangle and you can set it to responsive width. You can stretch it to the browser width. Um, and as that text box gets smaller within the browser, the it will fit the text within the text box. Uh, so the next thing I'm gonna show is changing the size of the text across different breakpoints. Uh, so here I'm gonna right click, add breakpoint, and I'm going to use the Google resizer breakpoints. So I'll say 840, 600, and uh, 480, yep, and I'll do one more. I'll say 1280. Okay, and I'll set the text box to 100% width. Okay, so here we have the text and the different breakpoints. Um, and over here to the left, we have the text formatting options. Uh, so this single capital T, if I leave my mouse cursor over it, it says format text on current breakpoint. Um, so this will allow me to change the text on each breakpoint. And then these four capital T's says format text across breakpoints. So if I have this selected here, if this is selected and I change the text, it'll change the text for all of the breakpoints. So here I'll select the text and I'll say 24. And we'll make the text box a little bit smaller. So if I go to each breakpoint, we can see that the text has changed. And you can also change the text box on each breakpoint. So for each, I'm just gonna say stretch the browser width uh, for this example. Okay, so we can see that the text, the text size has changed on all breakpoints. So I'll preview in the browser and the text will be the same, the text size will be the same for, for each breakpoint. Uh, so now if I go back into, let's say the 960 breakpoint and I go to the single T, the single capital T, this will allow me to format the text on each breakpoint. So if I select this text here, I'll make it 36. Then I'll go to the 840 breakpoint. I'll select this here and the, the single T will stay selected here even if I go across breakpoints. Um, here I'll make this 30 
and then for the 600 breakpoint I'll make this uh, yeah we'll leave it at 24 and then for the 480 breakpoint I'll say 18 and then for the largest breakpoint here I'll double click and change this to 48 so now if I preview in the browser we can see the text is changing size as I resize the browser and if I copy this link here and go into uh, the resizer the Google resizer I can check across the different breakpoints and see that the text is diff a different size on each breakpoint just like that uh, so that's it for quick tip number seven the the two points you'll want to consider when formatting text is the size of the text box and also whether the uh, the format text on current breakpoint is selected or the format text across breakpoints is selected and then you can also use the resize option to make the text box responsive with uh, stretch to browser width or none. Uh, if you didn't want the, the text box to change size on different breakpoints, you could say none, and then you could have different size text boxes that don't that are not responsive on each breakpoint. Uh, and this can be useful if you don't want your text to move around too much uh, within the breakpoints. So something like this, just like that. And I could set set it to none so it doesn't for these two, I can set it to none, so the text box doesn't uh, doesn't change size on those different breakpoints, just like that. So we can see this here on the 840 breakpoint, the text box isn't changing size because we set the resize option to none. So you can work with that. You can set it to none, responsive width, or stretch to browser width. And the text box works similar to to rectangles in that way. Um, and then the formatting again is the you can do the. Uh, on the current breakpoint with a single T or across all breakpoints. You can format the text across all breakpoints with the four T's here. So that's it for quick tip number seven, formatting text across breakpoints. Again, I do this to help you build awesome websites without code. Uh, if you like this video tutorial, you can subscribe below. Also in the show more section below are links to other resources and links to museforyoushop.com. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video tutorial. Thank you.